Hi, my name is Arij Mazhar and I'm currently the Chief Gastroenterology Fellow at Ascension Providence Hospital in Michigan and I will be the Incoming Transplant Hepatology Fellow at Northwestern Medical Center in Chicago. My mentor is Dr. Nancy Rowe from Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. I would like to thank the American Liver Foundation for giving me the opportunity to participate in this poster competition. My topic is rare diseases, specifically how to diagnose and treat Wilson disease. As you all may or may not know, the AASLD recently published updated guidelines on the very same topic in September of 2022. To give a brief background, Wilson disease is an autosomal recessive inherited disorder of copper accumulation and copper transport, specifically in the liver as well as other organs, and it can be associated with neuropsychiatric manifestations. The mean age of diagnosis is 3 to 55 years old. The prevalence is 1 in 30,000 live births in the United States and 30 per million population worldwide. The diagnosis of Wilson disease can be difficult because patients present with vague symptoms and that is why sometimes a diagnosis actually can be missed. In regards to how to diagnose Wilson disease, there are several diagnostic scoring systems. There are also prognostic scoring systems. When you review the literature, there is not much information on the sensitivity or the specificity of these tests or how they compare to each other. And uh, that is one of the limitations as far as these scoring systems because Wilson disease itself is so rare. So it's kind of hard to study which test is the best in a rare population. The test or the diagnostic scoring system that is most often used in Wilson disease is listed here on this poster, which is the Leipzig score and it consists of individual variables, each of which have their own sensitivity and specificity. Some of these variables include the presence of Kaiser Fleischer rings, the 24-hour urine copper, the copper quantitation on liver biopsy, and ATP 7B gene mutation. One of the important things that the guidelines did mention is that first-degree relatives of those with Wilson disease should be genetically tested for this ATP 7B. Uh, gene. Um, in regards to the treatment of Wilson disease, we do use some of the same treatment since the 1950s and 1960s, which is D-penicillamine and triantine, which are your copper chelators. D-penicillamine is less well tolerated, and then zinc salts are used for maintenance therapy. The newest treatment that is coming up is gene therapy um, uh, being studied by Ultragenics called UX701, and the thought is it is a transgene that helps produce normally functioning ATP7B protein. Thank you so much.